advanced ones. So we'll start off with my favorite, the question mark of the stalking kick. So with the question mark kick, the way I do it is I pretend like I'm doing a front kick or a push kick to the hip. Okay, so I'll do it like this, and then as my leg comes back, I will turn my hip. Okay, so what you want to do, or what you don't want to do, is you don't want to stop the momentum. So you don't want to go here and then here, or you don't want to do a double kick like this, because you don't get any power. The way you generate that power is when I kick and I bring it back, I'll turn into the kick. Okay? So the way you set it up is I'll throw my knee to the low kick to set that pattern, set that pattern, and then I'll fake the low kick, and then I'll go up to the Or it works well if I land like a push kick, and then straight after, he thinks I'm going to do another push kick, so he'll reach down, and then he's open for that kick. So there, there are ways you can use the question mark kick. Um, again, it works better if you set it up. So off the push kick or off the low kick, if you sort of just throw it from the start, straight off the bat, Sometimes it won't work. Okay, so again, here, turn. So I'll go here, as my knee comes back, I'll turn. So make sure it's within his line of sight. So I'll lift my leg up fairly high, so he'll reach for it, and then I'll come up. Okay, don't go that really low to the knee or the ankle, because you won't be able to see it. Alright, so that's it, question mark kick. Let's go.